Today I made this lemon crown for the lemon queen for the Girl Scout cookies, lemon ups. <laughs> Stay tuned and I'll show you how I did it. Hi, today I'm making a crown inspired by the new Girl Scout cookies called lemon ups that are lemon flavored and have these incredible little inspiring words on each one. And the reason why I'm making crown inspired by these is because they're going to have a lemon queen and they have decided to crown the owner of Trophy Cupcake, who is a longtime Girl Scout and makes cupcakes inspired by Girl Scout cookies, Jennifer Shea. And she asked me to make her a lemon crown. <laughs> And of course, I was extremely excited, but also a little bit nervous because I've never actually made a professional crown before and never for a parade. So I said, I can do it, but I think I'll do fake flowers so they can last and um, especially lemons because we don't have any lemon trees where I live unless they're in a conservatory and I've never been able to grow them. I've had them before, but failed miserably. So um, she said that was fine. So I thought I would give you a few little tips about how you can work with faux flowers. Usually when they come or you, when you buy them, um, they're just really straight like this. And what you wanna do is try to sort of manipulate them so they look more real. So this is a poppy. Um, this is more like how they grow. It's pretty easy to make a flower crown, honestly. Um, you can use floral wire and floral tape. Um, you can just take the floral wire and put it around your head and um, twist it in the back. Um, I decided to buy a pre-made succulent crown like this. I got it on Amazon, I think it was under $5. Um, Cause it was, I just felt like it'd be easier for me to work from a base and um, then use the floral tape to attach the flowers to it. Then what you will want is snips that can um, cut wire. So these are wire cutters. So I have like some larger flowers, like this big yellow peony and some complementary colors like this uh, pink rose and I got rose hips, see these, kind of inside there, um, and some daisies. These are the, the least realistic ones that I have, but um, I love the, the yellow centers in there and some smaller yellow roses. I'm going to just sort of see how things look on my head and then afterwards I'll be attaching. So I'm not gonna make it all of it in front of you right now, but I'll just sort of get a feel for how it's gonna look and then do some editing and cut and show you what it looks like in the end. So here we go. Cut that there. And it's super big, but I want this to be fit for a Girl Scout Lemon Queen crown. <laughs> it's gotta be big. So, let's see, have that there. Put those next to it. Like that. Now, this is, the main point of this is for it to be a lemon crown, so We'll get there. <laughs> I hope Jennifer likes big and bold. That's where this is headed. That's great. This is why I normally attach things as I go. This is kind of giving me an idea. It's good to look in the mirror because when you make a crown by itself on a table, you don't really know what it's going to look like. It's hard to tell. 
So if you've had a lot of experience doing the same exact kind of crowns, then maybe you'd be fine. I do like the orange. I love the lemon. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Editing magic. I'm gonna attach some of these so we can see. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Ta-da! <laughs> Isn't this the perfect crown for a lemon queen? I think so. I'm just going to enjoy these lemon ups. Get inspired. I am a leader. Looks really good. Those are really yummy. Innovator. A go getter. I'm also very happy.